This drumming needs primarily movable obare cords to make it work as simple and as efficient as possible. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest you skip this for now until you're able to play movable chords and change them in time. You can still try, but please don't complain if you find it too difficult. Also, if you still want to play reggae songs, please check our Backbeats drum tutorial for an easier way to do that. The chords I'm going to use today are G sharp minor index on the top string first fret, then with the middle finger on the first string second fret, with the little finger on the second string fourth fret, and with the ring finger on the third string, third fret. F sharp major index in the same position, first fret, and add on top of that the middle finger on the second string, second fret, and on the fourth string, third fret. And from here, you take the shape to the 6th fret, same fingers, same relation between the fingers and the strings, and you play a B major. F sharp major, but this time with a different shape on the 4th fret. We'll start with the index on the 1st string 4th fret, little finger on the 2nd string 6th fret, ring on the 3rd string 6th fret, and middle on the 4th string 6th fret. The first and the third beat are muted, <coughs> strumming down up, and the second and the fourth, you'll press the chord <coughs> against strumming down up to get the sound. One, two, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four. If you're ready to play the pattern and change the chords in time, please play the next section at the same time with me, using all three chords in the following order. G sharp minor two bars, F sharp major two bars, G sharp minor two bars, B major and F sharp major for one bar each. One, two, one, two, three, four. G. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and uh, also don't forget to like the, the video to help me create more videos like this.